What is up guys, my name is Mark Samuel. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the RC Vlog. Guys, I finished the EB410.2 conversion build, not on camera. I ended up building it while I was watching the Monday Night Football game. That was an important game for me because that was the game that's gonna de that decided whether I was gonna make it into the Super Bowl in my fantasy league. So I put the game on and I just started wrenching. And the game was close, or my fantasy game was close, so I was just like wrenching with a purpose. And I actually finished, I finished the whole thing. I said I finished the whole thing, I didn't do the shocks. And the reason why I didn't do the shocks is because I don't plan on running this car anytime soon. And when I say anytime soon, anytime within probably the next month or so. So I'll build the shocks brand new right before I decide to run it. Also, I'm waiting on the shock standoffs or I need to order the shock standoffs because this the the original 410 came with the original shock standoffs. This one, this, the 4.2 comes with the new updated shock standoffs that also, it's very similar to the ones that are on the upgraded, the upgraded ones for the A scale. It comes with like this bushing and they're a little bit thicker. So I got to put those on there, but yeah, it's done. And uh, it looks, I don't have the body mounted like this, but it looks pretty freaking good. I mean, I didn't put all the side pieces on again because that's all for the electronics. So, so I added a few pieces to the list. Um, there were two screws that didn't come with the car. I have my screw kit here, so I had them. But if you're going to do this conversion, you need the 3 by I believe it's 3 by 20 I have written down. 3 by 20 and then 3 by 14 millimeter screws. I put the, the link, or not the link, but I put the part number down in the description below. And you also need the front sway bar. So the front sway bar, apparently that was an option on the original 410. It is not an option on the 410.2. I don't have the front sway bar, so I need to go order the front sway bar kit. So I got all that stuff. It's all sitting in my car. I'm sitting there looking at it. I just got to hit the order button. But yeah, so those pieces, I added to it. I'm getting the question a lot of, was it worth it? Or should you convert it? Or should you just buy a new kit? I'll be really honest, guys. I would just buy a new kit. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of parts. And to be honest, I mean, it's always good to have a real good, nice kit anyways, or a brand new kit anyways. The price, you, I don't see you, I don't think it's worth it. So I would have just bought a new kit, but for the purpose of this video, everyone is giving me crap. Oh, why'd you buy all those parts to do it? Guys, I did it for you guys. Like I wanted to do the conversion. It wasn't so I could get a 410.2. I could just buy a 410.2. I wanted to do the conversion for you guys. So you guys saw what it was like to convert a 410 to a 410.2, but it wasn't that bad. Again, I just kind of scrapped the original 410 manual and just started using the brand new, the 410.2 manual. And this is built out exactly like a 410.2. All right, so a couple of other things. At the beginning of the build, I put the front screws, or the screws in the front diff case, and I said, you know, the manual didn't say to do that. I don't know if that was an error. At that time, I thought it was an error in the manual. It is not an error in the manual. The reason why you don't put those top screws, basically I put them in, and then I have to pull them out because this plate that holds the camber links actually uses those four screws, so or those two screws. So the little diff case, the little Easter egg I thought I found and I thought was an error in the manual is not an error in the manual. The reason why you don't put those screws in is because you use that later. Um, there's a few parts that are on the list that I had two of. Uh, one of the parts here, actually I have them here. One of the parts was TKR6218, the ball studs. I didn't need the other pack. I actually only used two of them. I think I only use them in the front. So you don't need two of those. I'm gonna update the list of parts down below in the description. I have that you needed three of the TKR 6523 HDs. You don't need three of those, you only need two. So I'll update that list. And then there's an extra set of rear arms that I got, 6524B, that's in the list also. That is for the rear mounting shocks. Uh, when I say rear mounting shocks, the shocks that are gonna mount in the back. So this is where the shocks are mount as opposed to the front mounting shocks. So the setup that comes out of the box is the front mounting shocks for the rear. Um, these arms are for the rear mounting shocks. So I didn't use these arms, but I put them on the list because I believe they do come with the EB4 10.2 kit. So I was reading the comments on the, I think it was the first video. And one guy said something along the lines of, um, you're going to need a new chassis because the chassis won't fit 
on the 410 chassis or the the I think he said the front the front clip won't fit on the 410 chassis. I didn't run into that issue. I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, everything looks like it sits flush. Everything sits fine. Um, maybe that guy. I mean, I'm sure he had a maybe another another maybe another chassis, a different chassis, maybe not an updated chassis. I'm sure he had a point, but I'm really happy that I didn't run into that problem because I was really dreading buying a new chassis for this thing. Uh, but I don't need a new chassis. Everything worked out just fine. Everything clipped in and hooked in this front part to put the front uh, clip on the chassis you actually kind of got to slide it on it like has some little teeth that hook onto the chassis so but I didn't need new chassis which is a really really good thing um, the carbon fiber towers that I had I went to go sell them on our local hobby shop site and my team manager actually commented and said one of the front tower or I don't know if it's a front tower one of the towers would work I'm gonna pull it up on my phone and see which one it is hold on Okay, so just pulled it up. My team manager says the front one, the front carbon fiber shock tower will work on the point two. So there you go. So you can use the front carbon fiber shock tower. I didn't use any of the carbon fiber shock towers. I'm just gonna sell them. So if you want them, let me know. I'm selling them super cheap. So I'm just trying to get rid of them. I've got nothing to do with them. Someone might as well take them. So yeah, that's, that's that. So there you have it guys. The EB410.2 conversion is complete or semi-complete. I just got to mount my electronics and my shocks, which I'm not going to do yet. But I have all the list of the parts in the description below. So if you want to do it, all the, li the list of parts is down in the description below. I personally don't recommend you do it. I think you should buy a new kit. But if you decide you want to or you found you've come across the parts where you can do it on your own, that's how you do it. And then I would just follow the EB4 10.2 manual, just completely scrap the original the original 410 manual. And the conversion should pretty should be pretty straightforward. So hope you like this build, guys. Um, if you did, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.